good morning my dear students so today in the sessions we are going to learn first problem on the compression coil spring so first of all i will read the question a compression coil spring made of alloy steel so this compression coil steel is made of alloy steel is ha having the following specification the first thing is the the first thing is the mean diameter of coil is given as 50 mm and the wide diameter of a compression coil is given as 5 mm number of active coil is given as 20 if this spring is subjected to an axial load of 500 newton calculate the maximum shear stress neglect the curvature of effect to which spring material is subjected so we understood from this question that the compression coil spring it is made of alloy steel so in this compression coil in this compression coil spring they gave in the following specification like the mean diameter of the coil is given as 50 mm and the wide diameter is given as 5 mm and the number of active coil is given as 20 mm on this spring the axial load is 500 newton is acting first of all i will draw the figure of compression coil spring then you can easily understand to solve the problem So the center we can say as axis of compression coil is spring. Okay. So in this case, the number of the turn, how much is given here? 20 number of the turns or 20 number of compression coil springs is given. Okay, here. Let us see over here. This compression coil spring is made of alloy steel. Is it right? So here the mean diameter of the coil. So this center line of this coil, what we can say here, mean diameter. So it is represented by capital D is 50 mm. And this one, what we can say here, inside diameter. It is represented by small d i and this outside what we can say here outside diameter of the coil. The outer portion we can say as outer diameter of the coil. So in between the inner diameter and outer diameter what we can say we can say as mean diameter how much is given 50 mm is given and the y diameter this diameter of the wire okay this y diameter it is represented by this one it is represented by small d equal to how much is given here 5 mm is given and this number of active coils this coils how much is there total 20 turns is there so number of active coils n equal to how much 20 
Okay, dear. So, as well as if the spring is subjected to the axial load of how much load is acting on this spring dear? The axial load in the form of compression W how much is given? 500 Newton load is acting on this spring. 500 Newton. So I will write the first given data. Okay. So the mean diameter of the coil is capital D equal to what we can say capital D nothing but mean diameter of the coil equal to 50 mm and y diameter how much is given here y diameter small d small d nothing but y diameter equal to 5 mm number of active coil how much is given small n equal to the small n in its indicate that number of active coil how much is given 20 is it right as well as if the spring is subjected to the axial load how much axial load is acting on this spring here 500 Newton W equal to 500 Newton so what we need to find out here we need to find out the maximum shear stress what we need to find out here we need to find out maximum shear stress so maximum shear stress we have the formula so what is the formula is that here tau equal to ks into 8 w into d by pi d cube so what is the meaning of ks ks nothing but shear stress factor what we can say here shear stress factor so maximum shear stress formula is tau maximum shear stress equal to shear stress factor into 8 into axial load in the form of compression into mean diameter by pi into mean diameter cube so because we don't know the value of shear stress factor the first thing is we need to find out the value of shear stress factor so what is the formula of shear stress factor here shear stress factor is 1 plus 1 by 2c so what is the formula here 1 plus 1 by 2c so what is the meaning of C? C nothing but spring index. The first of all we need to find out the value of spring index. After the getting of spring index we need to substitute in the shear stress factor value then we will get the value of Ks. After the getting of the Ks value we need to substitute in the maximum shear stress. Then we will get the answer. Okay dear. The first thing is I will find the value of C. So C nothing but spring index. So what is the formula of spring index dear? The spring index formula we have. It is spring index. It is represented by C equal to capital D by small d. So capital D, what we can say here, I told you capital D nothing but mean diameter. What we can say here, mean diameter. And small d, what we can say here, small d we can say as wire diameter. What we can say here, mean diameter by y diameter nothing but spring index. Mean diameter by y diameter we can say as spring index. Okay dear. So, so mean diameter how much we got here 50 mm so i am representing as here 50 and y diameter how much is given here 5 mm so if you cancel this term then you will get the value of 10 so what will be the unit because the di mean diameter unit is mm is it right and di y diameter is given as also mm so if you cancel this term then there is no unit so this means that spring index they don't have any unit or we can say as it is a dimensionless unit what we can say here dimensionless unit because they don't have any unit okay after that after the getting the value of c we need to substitute the value of c in the shear stress factor so what is the formula of shear stress factor here 
shear stress factor. We have the formula of shear stress factor is Ks equal to 1 plus 1 by 2 into C. So 1 plus okay 1 by 2 into C nothing but spring index how much is given here how much we got it 10. So if you divide with the help of Calci then you will get the value is 1.05 that is a value of shear stress factor value. After the getting the shear, shear stress factor value, we need to substitute the value in the maximum shear stress. Okay, so first of all, we need to substitute this value in the maximum shear stress, then we will get the value of maximum shear stress value. Okay. So in this equation, we need to find out the maximum shear stress. Shear stress. So we need to neglect the curvature effect. So what is we need to find out here? So we need to find out the maximum shear stress in which we need to neglect the curvature effect okay dear so so what is the formula dear the maximum shear stress tau equal to or we can represent as max maximum shear stress equal to ks nothing but shear stress factor into 8 into load into mean diameter by pi d cube is it right then we know the value of ks how much is the shear stress factor value we got it 1.05 into 8 into w value is how much we got it here w value is 500 newton load is acting into what is the value of d D how much we got it here 50 mm by pi how much D cube 50 whole cube so if you are divide with the help of Calci then you will get the answer is 534.7 7 MPa MPa nothing but mega Pascal the maximum shear stress value how much we got here 534.7 mega pascal okay i hope so you got the concept regarding the first problem we are going to learn the second problem in the next session i hope so no one is having the doubt regarding this class if you have this small doubt also you can write in the comment box and please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you